Good morning. I'm Eric Olson with uh, BSR, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to our final uh, plenary session uh, for the conference. It's been great to have you with us for three days. Uh, we've been inspired by your optimism in the midst of a lot of great changes uh, and inspired by the examples of leadership that we've seen. Our fondest hope is that at the end of each quarter in the year to come that that optimism is still intact. Uh, and we'll look forward, obviously, to seeing many of you in San Francisco a year from now. Before I introduce our plenary speaker for this morning, just want to talk about a few things. Um, we're going to have our networking break after this session, as we normally do. Please go down and visit our wonderful exhibitors and sponsors. And then, of course, we have our last round of panel sessions and meetings, great topics. Uh, that'll go from 10.30 to noon, and then everyone will go their merry way. I want also, on behalf of BSR's management team, to thank uh, our conference staff. Um, I've had some nice comments from many of you and said, well, what, where's the army that puts this on? So I'm going to embarrass our lean and mean conference team one more time. On behalf of the management team, Pamela, Kimberly, and Diane. There's Yes, there's only three. And thank you very much for all your work. <clears throat> so it's my pleasure to introduce uh, our, fi our final plenary speaker, Mr. Shinbei Kim, who's president and CEO of SK Telecom. And the first thing I want to say is don't let the name of the company fool you. This is a lot more than a telecom company. And um, over the next 45 minutes, I think you're going to understand what I mean. Mr. Kim uh, has been nothing less than a driving force in making SK Telecom one of the most innovative mobile carriers, and I think I could even say convergence technology companies in the world. He's an engineer by training uh, with degrees from Seoul National University and the Korea Advanced Institute for Technology. And also uh, from one of my old hometowns, he decided to spend a few years in Philadelphia and get an MBA at the Wharton School. He's been at SK Telecom since 1995, starting out in business strategy, where he was responsible for launching and commercializing uh, the CDMA in Korea, and really can take credit for laying the foundation for making SK a worldwide technology leader. He's found new growth engines to strengthen the company's future, attracted millions of customers through a focus on primarily one thing, innovation. And I want to call out a few examples of that innovation. First, he's been an innovator in products uh, by being the first to develop and deploy a number of convergence technologies, some of which he kindly treated our team to in Korea when we visited last year, where we got to watch our favorite television programs on his phones and also learned about uh, some of the interesting ventures that they've created uh, having purchased gaming and music services also in China. He's also been an innovator in global strategy, forging strategic alliance with China Unicom, launching mobile virtual networks in the U.S., and also creating significant growth strategy in Vietnam. He's also been an innovator in terms of management, and a year ago or more uh, broke with tradition by replacing uh, the traditional company hierarchy with a very flat management structure explicitly with the goal of encouraging risk, risk taking, and encouraging creativity. One fun story I came across um, that is something I'd like to see us emulate at BSR if we can manage is they now at SK have something they call the monthly Funergizer, which is lunchtime entertainment with music, dance, and drums in the lobby of uh, SK Telecom. Uh, held for all employees. And when asked why he would do such a thing, uh, he said, I think profoundly, I think happy employees make others happy. Their work and their productivity will improve. It also promotes a creative and flexible corporate culture. I think corporate culture is much more important than systems or processes. Our business environment changes very quickly. Once a system or a process is set up, then it is likely to become a shackle that makes it harder for us to change. 
For these and other reasons, Mr. Kim is a recognized global business leader who's received multiple awards. Earlier this year, he was named Entrepreneur of the Year in Korea. He received an Order of Civil Merit from the Korean President and has been honored also by the Vietnamese government for his commitment to active corporate citizenship. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Shin Bae Kim. Thank you very much, Eric. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to deliver the last plenary speech of the uh, 2008 DSR conference. It is especially so because I believe sustainable growth with the community and neighborhood got more important than ever in recent global crisis. And it's one of the uh, core agenda for new U.S. President-elect, Mr. Barack Obama. I understand that there has been a, quite a discussion around the uh, recession and CSR. As an Asian businessman, I have gone through many changes, upturns and downturns in, relati in relatively a short period. From my experience, I can tell it's very important to go back to the basics in this period of recession aligning a current business model with a new set of emerging societal expectations is becoming even more important. That's why I'm looking at CSR as completion of customer satisfaction management. I think we have to go back to the basics in order to win the hearts of customers and be successful in this difficult period. SK Telecom is uh, Korea's uh, leading telecommunication service provider and serves half the population. Today, I wish to share with you SK Telecom's philosophy and approach on social responsibility through business. Okay. People call Korean economic recovery from the ashes of Korean War in 1950 to have become the uh, 13th largest economy as the miracle by the Han River. But there are not many to recognize Korea has become the world IT powerhouse during the last 15 years. When I joined SK Telecom 13 years ago, none of our network equipments were Korean made and all the mobile handsets were imported. At the time, the uh, Motorola handsets were almost the, uh, more than 90% uh, market share in Korea. Now, However, most of the equipments and handsets being used in Korea are Samsung, LG, or other Korean brands. It is not because Koreans are patriotic, but because foreign makers thought it's not economical to meet fast changing customer needs and innovation in a small market like Korea. Today, mobile penetration in Korea is 93%, all postpaid, and house household penetration of a broadband service is 92%, one third of which has 100 megabps data speed. The Korean IT market has made remarkable advances with its uh, unrivaled R&D activities, entrepreneurial spirits, the world's most advanced network infrastructure, and fierce competition to, to satisfy relentless consumer demands for impeccable service. Back in uh, 2001, the author of the uh, third wave, Arvind Toffler, said, nothing can be recommended anymore for the country, as he spoke of Korea's information and communication sector. More recently, Google CEO Eric Schmidt described Korea as a great laboratory of digital age. As these comments suggest, Korea is a very innovative and competitive IT market 